So I build a lot of computers, and when I say a lot, I mean it. And because most of the hardware or computers that I purchase were bought second hand, sometimes there's just pieces inside each one of them that I don't want to use. And because of that fact, I have a very large amount of excess inventory that I've just accumulated over this past year. So today I want to clean out my closet and we're going to build a Frankenstein PC. Now I'm calling it our Frankenstein PC simply because there's absolutely no plan here and who knows what this thing's going to look like. The only thing that I can hope for is that in the end it looks good enough and performs well enough to where we can make some more money and put it in our Build Up Challenge bank. Now, if this is your first time on this channel right here, what we do is we build and sell gaming PCs so that we can save up all the profits and build an absolutely epic gaming system that one lucky subscriber is gonna have the chance to win. And because we are so incredibly close to wrapping up season one of the Build Up Challenge, I figured it was a good idea to try and clear out some of the clutter that I have just sitting around in my closet. Now, as much as I would love to give you a tour of my closet and show you all of the hardware that I've accumulated over this past year, I don't want to do that because there are so many spoilers inside of that closet and I don't want to ruin any of the future videos that we will be doing. So let me show you what I've come up with for today's build. So this thing is probably going to look pretty wild, but I think that once everything is put together, we should get a pretty quality gameplay from this system. Now, everything that you see in front of me has been sitting in my closet for like six plus months, and I've just been waiting to use each individual part in different builds, and I figured instead of just letting it sit there, we'd just throw it all together into one Frankenstein PC and see how well it works. Now, as far as the specs go for this system right here, it is going to have an i5 4690K CPU and it will have a GTX 980 Ti liquid cooled graphics card. Now, I got that graphics card like the day we moved to Florida. Some guy was selling it for 50 bucks and man, $50 for a 980 Ti is pretty good. But a 980 Ti that's liquid cooled. Yeah, I had to go get that one. Now our i5 4690K CPU is actually sitting inside of the all white motherboard that we spray painted in the Can We Spray Paint a Motherboard episode that we did a long time ago. And this board has been sitting in my closet for the longest time, just staring at me. And I always loved how this thing looks and it's, it deserves to be put in a build. So we're gonna be putting it in our build here today. Now, as far as storage goes for our system, I bought a computer from somebody a long time ago and he gave me a big box of stuff that he just didn't want anymore. And inside of that box was this right here. Now, what this is, is if you want to run a M.2 NVMe drive on your computer, but your motherboard does not support an M.2, this connects through SATA power and you can attach an M.2 drive to it. Now, there was an M.2 on it, but I never tested it. And I don't know what the capacity is for this NVMe drive, but we're gonna add it in here and hope that it's enough. As far as the rest of the items for this system, we do have this CPU cooler right here that I bought back in February and never used, but it was $8. So you have to buy the $8 CPU cooler and it's just been sitting around. So we're gonna throw that in here. I have this power supply right here that was pulled out of a different system a long time ago. It's 500 watts. It's plenty enough for this build right here. And I have this Antec case that I picked up a while ago because anytime things are on sale and they seem like they're like an absolutely fantastic deal, I like to pick them up because I know that in the future I will end up using it. So I figure that this would look good for our system today because it does have some RGB fans in it. It'll help the system look a little bit better because I feel like it, the end result might just look a little crazy. What a fantastic time to be doing a Frankenstein PC. Halloween is in like two weeks. Now listen, I am that like super nerdy guy who gets giddy over putting systems together, but this one, this one should be a whole heck of a lot of fun. And I am very, very excited to see not only what it looks like, but how well it performs. So without further ado, let's put this thing together.
alive! <laughs> and the gameplay was actually pretty shocking because I did not expect this system to perform anywhere near as well as it did. So to kick us off, I wanted to take a trip down memory lane and play some Metal Gear Solid 5. And at maxed out settings, we were able to get a smooth 60 FPS. In Call of Duty with high settings, we captured an average of 88 FPS. And when I felt like we needed a little bit more speed in the video, I played Forza 5. With V-Sync on, we were able to get a steady 60 FPS. And when I turned off V-Sync, we were able to hit 105 FPS on average. And because those three games were shockingly impressive, I had to try out God of War because I just needed to see how well this system would handle it. And handle it, it sure did getting us a smooth 64 FPS on average with settings set to high. Just because the build's done, don't click away just yet. I got something I gotta ask you guys just like a little further down the video. So I was actually pretty impressed at how well the 4690K CPU and the 980 Ti worked together. It was honestly kind of felt like the perfect pairing. And while this system may look a little unique, I. I kind of like it. I think it looks pretty cool. So the CPU cooler that we put in here is actually like so much smaller than what you usually find when you buy CPU coolers. And I was a little concerned that temps were going to get, get out of control because it's just so small. And that was incorrect because out of all the gameplay that I did, the max temp that this CPU hit was only 47 degrees. So uh, I guess bigger is not always better. So one unfortunate change that did need to be made while we were putting the system together is I had to swap out the M.2 SSD that we had originally put on the board. Now, I went to go put Windows on and the system did not recognize that there was a drive. I thought maybe the M.2 slot on the board didn't work, but when I put in a different M.2, it, it recognized it and we were able to put Windows on it. So I did need to swap out this SSD for a working one. Now, it's not a big deal because I didn't pay anything for this. This was just given to me. And now I know that it doesn't work, but still kind of a bummer. So now for the hardest part of this build, trying to figure out how much it cost me to build this entire system. Now, I do know that I paid $48 for this case right here because I went through my purchase history. I believe the case is usually like $58, $59, but it was on sale and I like to buy things and keep them for long periods of time when, they're on, when there's a good deal around because I know that eventually I will use it and obviously we used it for the SSD that we had to replace. Now, the original SSD was free. This one is not free. Uh, those cost about $39, so we'll add $39 to the total build cost. For the CPU cooler, it was $8. $8, bought it in February. I'm guessing it was probably like a third party seller designed this or put his name on this. It's, you know, and he manufactured a whole bunch of them. No one bought them and he was just trying to get rid of his inventory. So $8 is what I spent on that CPU cooler a long time ago. Now for the RAM that's in here, I had originally bought 20 sticks of that RAM just to have a whole bunch of decent looking DDR3 RAM sitting around. And I paid $160 for all 20 sticks. So that brings it to $8 per stick. There's two sticks in here with 16 gigs of RAM, cost $16. And for the GPU, $50 for the GPU on the used market, Facebook marketplace, right when I moved to Florida, and then for the board and the CPU combo. I've been racking my brain trying to figure out where I got that. I have no idea where I got this motherboard and this CPU. The only thing that I think I, I is that I bought a computer when I was still living in Charlotte that had two uh, RX 580s in it and it was a whole working system and I paid $100 for that whole system and I kept the 580s and I never did anything with the board and I can't remember if I ever used it. So I'm thinking that this was the board that was inside of that computer. And so since I paid $100 for it and I got two graphics cards out of it, I'm gonna put a value of 20 bucks on this motherboard and CPU combo. I think that that's pretty fair. 
So with all of that added up, that does bring the total build cost for this system right here to $201. And what do you think for a list price? $480? I think $480 is a pretty decent list price for this. So let's go ahead and talk about some real money for a second, specifically the amount of money that we have to spend on the system that one of you guys will have the opportunity to win. Now, at the end of last week, we did have $1,337 in total bank. And after we factor in the $201 build cost for this system right here, we are left with $1,136. But thankfully, the computer that we built in in episode 11, that all white gorgeous computer has finally sold. Now it sold for a little less than what I wanted to get for that computer, but it did sell for $600, which is gonna bring our bankroll back up to $1,736. And we still have three computers for sale. The last episode that we made, the all black and blue computer, that one is listed for 580. The computer that we built, I think it was episode 12, that computer is listed for 380 and now this system right here for 480. Now please remember, if you do want to partake in the giveaway of the over $3,000 PC that we are working towards giving to one of you, you do need to be a member of the PC Rehab Discord server. I will leave a link to that server in the description down below. But now that we're on the topic of Discord, the other day I asked everybody in my Discord server what their thoughts were on the 13900 KF CPU. And an overwhelming amount of people said that they would prefer to see an AMD CPU inside of the giveaway computer. And that left me curious if that's how everybody feels. So in the comments section down below, cast your vote on if you're an AMD fanboy like myself, or if you would prefer the giveaway computer to be an Intel system. But while you're down there casting your vote, I just wanted to tell you that no matter where you are in the world, I hope that you're having a fantastic day. And I'll see you in the next video.